Dunedin's mayor says there's no reason to cancel any other big events in the city after university graduations were postponed this week due to a targeted but unspecified threat. Hundreds of students are missing out after Otago University postponed ceremonies on Wednesday and ones planned for the weekend. And Otago Polytech has followed suit. The police are keeping the exact nature of the threat secret but say there's an active investigation underway and an increased police presence in Dunedin. I asked the city's mayor, Aaron Hawkins, what exactly is going on. What we know is that uh, there was a very specific and credible security threat, um, very targeted, uh, aimed at, uh, at, at University of Otago graduation. Uh, and as that investigation by police is ongoing, uh, graduation events uh, have been postponed by the university as a precautionary measure. Have you been briefed by the police? Yeah, I spoke to uh, to police uh, this afternoon uh, about it, and I, I don't know a, a whole lot more about their investigation than uh, than you will, uh, except uh, you know, except to say that it is uh, it is ongoing, and, and they have a number of leads to to follow up, and, and we're not expecting another update from them uh, before Monday morning. As far as you know, when did the threat come to light or when were you told about it? Uh, we found out about it on Wednesday morning. From who? From the venue management company. So one of, one of our uh, council-controlled organisations that manages uh, the, the facility for us. So how did the threat come? Was it social media, email or how was it delivered? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how it was delivered uh, beyond uh, beyond the fact that it was delivered electronically. Okay. But, uh, can you, a limited range of options. Can you tell us? Um, was it a threat of violence? I I, I would only be interpreting that. Uh, that I haven't had any conversation with police or anyone for that matter around the, the content of it beyond the fact that it was uh, very specifically about uh, the graduation event and, and that there's no reason to believe that there is any risk to the wider community. So how worried about this are you? Because, um, well, police are treating it as a credible threat and it's in your city. It's certainly unnerving. It's not the kind of thing that uh, that we're used to in, in this part of the world. And obviously it's uh, traumatic. It's a traumatic a turn of events uh, for the community, particularly in the same week as the Royal Commission of Inquiry has released its findings into the, the, the uh, mass shootings in Christchurch, which have a very uh, obvious uh, link to the city. So um, that, that's, that, I think, has been, has been difficult. Uh, this week, so I mean, it's it, it is unnerving. It, it doesn't I mean it doesn't feel. And Wednesday felt a bit odd, but it, it doesn't feel any different in the city. People are obviously disappointed uh, in, in the sense that you know we, we had um, thousands of young people, uh, young, young and old, uh, due to celebrate uh, their academic accomplishments. Some of which have put more than ten years of effort into those, and some have already been postponed. Uh, thanks to uh, the, the COVID uh, alert level restrictions earlier this year, so it's it's, it's disappointing. But uh, people are still uh, here and, and, and celebrating and, and finding ways of uh, of celebrating in slightly different fashion than they had anticipated. And I I, I was at a, a small function earlier this afternoon, uh, handing out certificates to a, a graduating class of students at the Polytechnic. People are improvising and uh, and and making the best out of a out of a bad situation, which feels very on-brand for 2020. Uh, well, has there been an advice to cancel any other events? No. So the, 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 the advice we have from police is that this is specifically about, uh, about graduation and that there is no uh, wider risk or wider concern that they have about any other events that are happening in the city. Are you comfortable about that? Are you sure about that? Uh, I, I'm, I'm comfortable. The police are reasonably risk-averse 
Uh, so I'm, I'm I'm fairly comfortable that if if they had a a, a genuine concern or uh, that they would that they would make that known to us. Do you think this is a real threat? Uh, I have to take advice from police as to how credible a, a threat might be. Um, I'm certainly not qualified to offer a counter view. So, and when you say that it was specifically targeted at graduation at at the university, was that named or specifically stated in the threat or is that what has been deduced? That is what we've been told by police. Um, like I say, I haven't seen any of their uh, primary sources, so uh, I'm, I'm relying on, uh, on on their advice, as we all are at this point. Is there an increased police presence around the city? Uh, they do, I mean, they, they do seem to be more visible, and, and they were obviously um, doing some uh, some work on site on Wednesday, but uh, it, it doesn't. It doesn't feel uh, any different uh, in, in the city, really, than it did this time last week. And that's Dunedin Mayor Aaron Hawkins. In a statement, the Southern District Commander, Superintendent Paul Basham, says Dunedin Police continue to investigate the threat made against yesterday's University of Otago graduation ceremonies. While we understand people want to know the specific nature of the threat, at this stage of our inquiries, we cannot provide this detail as it could compromise the outcome of the investigation. This is a complex investigation and it's important we have the opportunity to work through it systematically and thoroughly. The safety of our community remains our priority and we continue with our two-pronged approach, an active investigation and an increased police presence in the city. And the police encourage anyone with information to get in contact.